Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, recently, uh, ETA Prime did a video showing the uh, Pi 4 with 3D acceleration, and the results, although he seemed to enjoy them, um, I thought were pretty pathetic compared to an N2. Um, I'm going to show you guys my build, and then at the end, I'll show you my 3D Mark scores. Um, but before we do that, I want to show you that. I'm running at 1080p, not 720p. We have the OpenGL ES 3.2, and we also have um, Vulkan running as well. Uh, currently, what I did was I took the uh, base um, Lineage OS 17, um, Android 10 uh, base image, took that, and then um, I did the, the root on it. Once I did that, I replaced the T uh, Android TV Launcher with uh, ATV uh, Launcher Pro. And then started installing things. Um, it's really great. I really enjoy it. And um, being able to use Volcom on some of the emulators really lets you have access to some games you wouldn't normally have. Also, um, because you're not um, running strictly you know, through Emulation Station and all that other stuff, you have uh, like GeForce Now and... Um, Microsoft uh, xCloud like this. <laughs> it runs really, really nice. It's uh, quick. And there's not usually a problem with any kind of uh, joystick configuration or anything like that. Um, Lineage works great with the uh, default um, remote that you can buy uh, from Ameridroid or from Hard Kernel. It's great. Uh, there's an Odroid uh, N2 Plus coming out soon. And uh, hopefully that will lower the price of the original Odroid N2 4 gig. That way people can be right on the exact price point of the Raspberry Pi 4. Because currently, right now, it's a little more expensive, um, but it's definitely well worth it. As you can see, I'm signed in. All my achievements worked, everything. So I'm not going to go ahead and play because that would make this video way too, way too long. And I'm just going to quit. Okay, uh, GeForce Now works as well, and again, I'm not going to uh, actually play the games because it would take too long to make this video way, way, way too long. And there you go. GeForce now is running nice and smooth. Now, um, if you had to ask me, I think that the Xbox Game Cloud is really, really awesome. Um, especially since they have that clip that you can put on like your phone and stuff like that. Um, so it looks like they're really embracing the uh, streaming, the game streaming. Uh, GeForce Now is pretty good too, but it seems that like every time you get a good game or whatever, they seem to drop it. But it's still worth the money, definitely worth the money. And Steam Link works fine, but it sucks because you have to be have the other computer. You know, you have to occupy another computer at the same time just to stream it. It doesn't really suck. It's just is not as cool as doing it from the cloud here. Um, Stadia works, but I can't stand it, so I wouldn't even recommend that. Um, I got my emulation set up. Uh, it's still scraping, so you might see some missing artwork. 
I'm using the dig emulator front end. I'll show you guys a little bit of Dreamcast here. When you see this, this means that it's updating artwork and stuff. So we'll do something like... Do Dead or Alive 2 here. I really like Dig front end. Um, this it gives you the option for the like the playlist for to like create M3U files. So that really helps out on games that have like multiple discs like Amiga and uh, X68000. It'll create up to three discs in one M3U file. I'm running Redream here, and you can see the frame rate up top. And I'm running at 1080p, not 720. I'll play this a little bit because it doesn't take forever to get into the game. I am just button mashing. You can probably hear it uh, pick up on the video. I don't know any of the moves for this game, but I really like it. I enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. It's got really cool uh, effects. I was hoping that I'd knock her out the window so you could see the like sc scaling and stuff, but uh, that did not happen. Oh. Okay, I gotta get out of there just to... Uh, Otherwise, this video will go on forever. So you can see, uh, Dig is really nice. It downloads all your artwork. It automatically scans. This is a really cool uh, uh, skin as well. Reminds you kind of of Hyperspin mixed with Emulation Station. So that's pretty cool. Here's some Atomus Wave since I can't get my uh, other game to work here. Atomus Wave should run pretty good. So should Naomi as soon as I configure it correctly. Some of the main boards have to be set for region and type of play. And I haven't done that yet on this build. That's why that last game did not work. So I might edit it out of the video, but probably not. Don't really need to. The thing that happens when you configure your own image. Hopefully you can see how amazing this game runs. games that every time I test with it I end up playing way too long so I'm going to end there we go oops I just restarted it I'm a dork there we go um, so basically yeah emulation works pretty good um, there's a lot of um, there's a couple emulators actually one emulator, the real 3DO player, I really, really enjoy this emulator, but it does not work from within any emulator. As a matter of fact, if you try to launch from one of the uh, emulator front ends, it'll automatically um, stop working. You have to uninstall it and reinstall it. It's ridiculous, but it's probably one of the most accurate um, 
3o emulators i've ever seen and it runs really great on here so it's going to take a while to boot up because i have a complete 3do collection in here and for some reason the uh, menu system when it loads things up takes forever i don't know why it doesn't cache it i think it's looking for new and instead of appending it just creates a new database all right so let's go ahead and just try like uh well, let's show Road Rash, because Road Rash is a great game. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do Road Rash, because I'll get copyrighted on it. Uh, let's do... Uh... Ooh, let's do Starbleed. It's really weird. I've never seen an emulator do this, but this emulator really is nice. I haven't mapped my controls for this one yet. <laughs> but you'll be able to see everything's full speed. If you guys want to see a video of it running by itself with that, with everything mapped and everything, just let me know. I'll do it. But for now, I'm going to exit out. Um, the Jaguar emulator by the same guy is really good. So is the ColecoVision. Um, it does not do the F18 or the Super Module, Game Module stuff. But uh, Colum Deluxe does do the F-18 and the um, Super Game Module games. So that's really cool. So definitely download that if you want. Uh, Recast, you're going to want to download because um, some games uh, play on it. Some of the homebrew games play on it that don't play on uh, Redream. And of course, Yabashir Sanshiro Pro uh, for Saturn games. Um, but... Believe it or not, the retro core is getting pretty darn close to the same speed as it. And everybody knows Redream. EPSXE um, is a, a nice emulator. Um, you have to pay for it, though. Uh, same with Yabash Yabasanshiro uh, Pro. Um, the rest of these are all free. Uh, Colum Deluxe is not free. Um, for texture packs and N64 at full 1080p, uh, use this, the M64 Plus FZ. And I also downloaded and paid for the PPSS PP uh, Gold Emulator. Uh, this is the Dolphin Emulator, but I usually use a different one um, that's a little bit faster. I haven't really configured it yet, um, so I might do a video of GameCube because it gets much better performance than other videos have shown. And uh, here is an example of some of the... Um, you know, just the Android games that work with it. Uh, let's, you know, you got your Red Ball. You know, kids love Red Ball. I don't know why. They're obsessed with that game. So I will show you that. But even the AAA titles are working. I'm going to use my kid's age here. So yeah, everything works, and it works, uh... Works with the controller or with the remote. So it's really cool. There's a lot of games, though, that you're going to have incompatibilities with, but every one of these works perfectly, so that's why I have them on here. Um, here's a, um... Here we go, here we go, there's a AAA title here. You even got your achievements. It's really cool. It's like you have like a little mini console. It's pretty much a, a an Nvidia Shield. But everything runs great on this.
And now that you guys see this, what we'll do is go ahead and run the little benchmark here. Uh, a lot of your streaming services will work. Um, HBO Max works, Hulu works, Prime Video works, and Disney works. Prime Video only works um, if you go and mess with the DTS settings. I think you have to set it to True to uh, AC3 DTS. Um, I'm not too sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, I'm probably going to do a video if everybody asks on how to actually create this exact same build that I have. Um, I was planning on doing it with Gamester81, so if you guys would be interested, uh, let me know. All right, so let's go ahead and go to 3D Mark here. As you can see, my uh, last Slingshot Extreme was 1063. So that's actually a lot higher than the Raspberry Pi 4. Um, but I'll go ahead and start the Slingshot one, the one that uh, ETA Prime did on his system. And um, I'm going to cut the video here because this takes about 10 or 15 minutes and this doesn't need to be recorded. And I'll come right back. Okay, the uh, test is completed, and here are my results. As you can see, they're, uh, I mean, they're still not impressive, but at least they're uh, a little bit, you know, they're above a 1,000. Um, the system runs really, really good. Um, the Raspberry Pi 4 is really cool. I just think the Odroid isn't getting enough love, and I hope that some of the uh, Raspberry uh, Pi fanboys will come on over to our side for a little bit and realize that you can have fun on all platforms.